Have you guys seen this? Tom Cruise and the steam train going over the cliff and both being destroyed. Wow. Rest in peace, Tom. <laughs> Thankfully, Tom wasn't on there. But hang on a second. Did they actually destroy a steam train? Because I love steam locomotives and history re re regarding locomotives, right? Look at my tall boy Garrett sign made out of steel. Thank you, Vicky. You got that for my birthday present. Uh, I love steam locomotives and all that type of stuff and the history regarding them, right? Did they destroy a locomotive for the movie? If they did, this pisses me off. We will talk all about this in a second. Plus, we're going to show you some photos and uh, the video. So if this sounds fun to you guys, we are making daily videos on the studio. Channel 2 is where we're at right now, okay? Let's have fun and talk about this situation. So yeah, Tom. Tom is a bit of a crazy mother. Mother effer, all right? <laughs> he's, he's known for his stunts. He's probably... Well, yeah, he's, he's, he's the only actor in history that I'm aware of who, who does all his these, all these own stunts, pretty much, so... A really unique guy, right? Mission Impossible 7. Tom Cruise and Steam Locomotive mock-up head to North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Now, this was April 2021, but you guys can see this was before they crashed the train and all that, right? There's, you know, Tom and another actor doing some, some stunt work on the trains there. But let's talk a little bit about this, right? The filming train featured the mock-up Steam Locomotive, which features similar to the uh to a britannia class and 9fs apparently now two european uh, style coaches were immediately behind the locomotive uh so look it's good to hear that they didn't destroy a locomotive a, an actual you know historic uh piece of machinery so it will be interesting when the movie does come out uh when the dvd comes out after that type of thing there'll be behind the scenes of footage of how they made the train and uh, just for the movie kind of thing. So that'll be released to YouTube and all that. So it'll be interesting to talk about when that finally does come out. But yes, very good to know the steam locomotive wasn't destroyed. Uh, train being used in Mission Impossible stunt spotted in Derbyshire. Am I saying that correctly? Derbyshire? Derbyshire. I'm sorry for the people that live there. Uh, this was just before the train went over the cliff, right? This, this, the, I mean, the crew have been here uh, preparing the shot months all right months because of the COVID 19 pandemic there's been so many delays not to mention actually building the things that they would need like that right there and that that have to be built all right that was not there the the big tower as you guys can see they've been planting some trees for the film on the right so uh repositioning some trees there's one of the locomotives from the train. But all right, let's go to the actual interesting article, right, from the Daily Mail. Uh, Mission Impossible is back. All right. Dur, 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 dur. Steam train plunges into the Derbyshire quarry while Tom Cruise uh, flees about, flies above, I should say. Thank you, teleprompter. Above in a helicopter as seventh installment resumes production after COVID delay. Now, apparently there are some rumors that Tom himself may have had COVID. That's not, it's not confirmed. We don't know. Nothing's confirmed, right? But that's what people are saying because apparently uh, one of the reasons the set was delayed was because, well, the COVID pandemic, right? But, he, but Tom himself wasn't seen on the set for quite a while. Did he or did he not have symptoms? Well, we don't know. But it may come out at some other time, right? Uh, steam train derailed and plunged from a cliff in an action-packed scene filmed for the latest installment of the Mission Impossible franchise in Derbyshire on Friday. Production of Mission Impossible 7 began again at the end of last month after being paused and delayed multiple times due to the pandemic. And the scenes are looking to be highly dramatic. Absolutely. I'm sure you guys have seen these things already, all right? Uh, if pictures are to be believed type of thing, uh what else can we read and the scenes are looking to be highly dramatic there we go yeah that'll do we'll just we'll just leave it at that look at this right now the 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 the, the, the side the the main side the filming side of the train will be on the left the, the train's actual right side is the main filming side but the left they seem to have like apparatuses on that side of the train you guys see that uh i'm not too sure what, what's on there maybe like it's holding a camera or something but the main shot is from that side, if you know what I'm saying. Okay? Let's 
read some more on this. So Hollywood actor Tom Cruise, 59, who plays Ethan Hunt in the famous franchise, was reportedly on set as the train went over the edge and apparently on a helicopter too. All right. Look at that. That is crazy. We'll zoom out a little so we can get more of a picture in. What do you, what do you guys reckon? So, um... Yeah, it'd be really interesting to see the behind-the-scenes footage when this finally does come out, right? So Tom was in the helicopter as it apparently went over the edge with the, with the train. But Tom did not go over the edge, obviously, because, you know, hey, he's an actor, he has to survive, you know? Some people would like that, some people wouldn't. <laughs> At least he's not on Oprah's lounge anymore, jumping up and down. Am I right? Uh, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, beautiful shot, really iconic shot, obviously... This movie will be a very interesting one to watch, right? Wow. I would have loved to have seen that. But once again, we will show you the video in a second. That's possibly Tom. Well, I don't know. If, I don't think that's Tom, but the, that's the helicopter that they used to film. See the big camera on the front? So, um, yeah, filming for Mission Impossible was paused and delayed multiple times due to the COVID pandemic. Last month, Tom appeared in good spirits outside the Hilton. Uh, hotel and being greeted by 200 fans all right a source told daily mail uh, mail online i should say that the actor happily met with fans who had been waiting outside the hotel for more than an hour the guy is is actually well known for meeting his fans like um i don't know too many other actors that are quite like him like his status is, is an absolute a triple plus actor right he's a he's an absolute a list all right plus plus more right but not just that, he's not stuck up when it comes to his fans, right? He literally takes the time out and, and meets his fans. He's well known for this. He, he, he's usually, not usually, but a lot of the times, apparently he's, he's last on the red carpet to leave. Like the other stars will go in type thing on a red carpet premiere situation, right? He's the last to go in. He's always meeting the fans and, and shaking hands and doing photos and autographs. A uh, bit of a legendary guy when it comes to meeting his fans, right? Unlike other people, that I've met in the past. I used to be a paparazzi, all right? I've met Tom Cruise. Uh, Harrison Ford, not the nicest. Let me put, you that, <laughs> put it that way, all right? Uh, anyway, so what else can we show you? Before I show you the actual video, right? We might leave it at that. There we go. There's a nice, beautiful, iconic shot of the train going off the edge. So like I said, this was, half, this was actually made. Uh, this was you know, completely constructed for the film. And... Um, Look at that. Those are some, you know, some setting up shots. They've got some really heavy blocks there just in case the train decides to use gravity against its, uh, against, uh, against the crew, right? <laughs> you don't want to uh, set it off before the cameras are rolling. So you know, obviously before this day came the amount of planning, you know, the amount of cinematography that would have had to have been thought about before any kind of rolling situation happened, right? Uh, you've got to get all these angles right because this is the only time that they'll be doing this. They won't be doing this a second time, right? This is a one take, a one take one. You get all those camera angles ready. You plan it. You'd even have a little model train set, right? They, they would, they would absolutely have a model train set uh, with a model cliff, right? They would have the model train on the model track going over the model cliff and getting uh, you know, maybe maybe GoPros, for example, they would maybe position a GoPro uh, in certain areas just so they know what what sides of the train to get. Do you know what I mean? This is the planning that would need to be involved before this was ever shot on the day. A lot of planning. So let's quickly check this video. Here we go. Check this one out, guys. This is so interesting. So I'm not well, I'm not too sure if Tom was in this helicopter, but. Uh, I think that's the, the filming helicopter. Either way, the train is heading off. The locomotive is heading off to its final destination. Rest in peace. My God, that's incredible. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. I actually really would have loved to have seen that in real life. Uh, very, very interesting video, guys. What do you think about this latest stunt? Let me know in the comments down below. We're on two and one where we make travel vlogs every now and then. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, at Tallboy Gareth, the train sign, as we've said before. I love you guys. Look, I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Peace out. Bye-bye.